guys? Today we've got a song that I personally think will blow up in the charts because it's so awesome. I'm talking about Can Have by Pitbull featuring Stephen Clark featuring Ape Drums. What a masterpiece and good for us is that it's only got one riff including full chords. Of course we've got like a different rhythm in the chorus, we usually have that, but that is pretty much it. So let's jump right in and let's get going. So first of all, let's take a look at the chords. The first one is one of our standard chords. I'm talking about an E. We put our first finger onto the first on the third string, second finger onto the second on the fifth string, and third finger onto the second on the fourth string. We don't have to mute any strings here. We just put our fingers on like that and go down once. Now we jump onto a power chord, a C sharp. We put our first finger onto the fourth on the fifth string, third finger onto the sixth on the fourth string, and pinky onto the sixth on the third string. Now we have to use our first finger right here and mute the sixth string with the tip of our first finger by slightly touching it. And we go down once as well, like that. So we've got the E, the C sharp. Now we jump one string up with each finger and stay on the fourth and sixth. So we go from here onto here. So now we've got our first finger on the fourth on the sixth string, third finger on the sixth on the fifth string, and pinky on the sixth on the fourth string. That is a G sharp, and we go down once as well. So we've got the E, the C sharp, the G sharp, and now we already get to our last chord. We slide down two frets, onto the 2nd and 4th on the 6th, 5th and 4th string. So we've got our first finger on the 2nd on the 6th string, 3rd finger on the 4th on the 5th string, and pinky on the 4th on the 4th string, and that is an F sharp. We go down once as well. So those are our chords. We've got the E, the C sharp, the G sharp, and the F sharp. That is pretty much the entire intro and first. Of course, during the first, we could just go down eight times on each chord, but that is totally up to you. It's super easy, so we would just go down eight times on the E, down eight times on the C sharp, down eight times on the G sharp, and of course down eight times on the F sharp. So there's actually only one riff that has a distinctively different chorus, uh, riff, sorry, I spoiled it, and that of course is the chorus. So let's take a look at how that rhythm works. It's actually pretty simple because we just go, Down, down, up, up, down. We do that twice on each chord. We just go down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. That is actually the entire rhythm, the entire riff, and that is already the entire song. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop it a thumbs up, helps me out massively. And if you haven't done so already, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I make videos like this one every single week for the latest songs releasing. So be sure not to miss out on anything. 
And as always, all of my socials in the description, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my second channel on which I talk about music, and of course my Twitch channel on which I play video games. So if you are into any of that stuff, be sure to check those links out. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.